What's up guys, it's Drake, and as promised, I will be making a review on all of these. These are, of course, the difficult to lock in and open, <laughs> the Worker 22 round banana magazines. So these are true banana magazines. They're also quite large, and they hold 22 darts of capacity. Now, technically, they're magazines. A lot of people want to call them banana clips. I don't want to get into that, but they, uh, they look good. Worker has gotten much better recently in their machining. A lot of things that were being assembled by different means are now like plastic injected parts and they're they're looking really really good so these come in a variety of flavors so far we have an all orange and an all black one and as we keep going through we will see what the other options are this looks like a smoke style where it's not quite transparent but definitely not super it's it's opaque I guess and you can see here some of the angles really well there's a slight angle here I think this is called a follower on the magazine itself that would be the technical term if this was a gun part and we can see this is a true banana magazine it's going all the way down so that might be our testing one hopefully this is a half and half I really like it when they they mirror nope this is an all clear one so we can use the all clear one for sure that is awesome. So we have all clear, semi-clear, not clear, and orange, <coughs> which kind of covers all the bases. So let's do a quick size comparison. This is a 20 dart magazine that doesn't curve, and you can see they're almost the same length in terms of how far down it goes. So the Busby magazine is designed to hold 20 darts. This is designed to hold 22, so it might actually be gaining a little bit of volume with that curve, although it does dip down just a little bit more and a little bit out to the side. Uh, still a very, I guess, space efficient kind of style. This is, of course, an older worker style banana mag, and it has a much steeper curve and a much smaller capacity. This is definitely a more ammo for size efficient vehicle than the 15 mag. Now, the 15 mag looks very aggressive. It's got a good curve to it, but some people reported issues with the follower sticking down here at the bottom where the tips of the darts, the rubber would grab against this kind of steep angle here, and they would have lower rate of fire. No worries there. I brought the highest rate of fire blaster that I know of. Of to test against. Now this is an F10555 magazine which has a cool window and looks really cool. It's got that PMAG style of I guess handling. It's a little bit more compact than the blaster parts one which is of course the German version and a little bit more compact than the worker version. So for the longest time I felt that this was the best magazine. If you wanted a banana magazine, A it had the PMAG grips, B it had 15 dart capacity, C it fed relatively cleanly as the uh, angle was not as aggressive but you can see that the angle is more or less the same here as it is on the worker one. I don't know if these companies know one another. I know that they both come out of China, but I think that this is gonna be very, very cool. So there's nothing to it but to do it. Let's load it up, see kind of how this follower moves down the magazine as we fill it with some sweet, sweet brand new Kush darts. And we'll go from there. I will be linking both to these magazines and I guess I could link to some of the, the competitive ones as well as these Kush darts in the description box of this video. If you'd like to purchase any of these things, if you think that these are cool or tactical, bro, um, then you are more than welcome to purchase them through those links, which helps support the channel as well. So currently we have 10 in. That's the beautiful thing about these Kush packs is that they kind of pre-measure 10 darts out for you. So this will get us to 20 here as we load up. But... It's still uh, feeding very quickly. It's not sticking for me, which is ideal. And it looks like we do indeed have room for two more darts. We might even have room for three. We'll find out. So foam darts are compressible. I always recommend loading to the actual amount that is recommended by the magazine, but you can almost always get a plus one out of them, unlike real steel. But this one seems pretty tight. That follower is fully compressed. That spring is pretty 
pretty tight down there. I don't see a ton of extra room to compress these, but the darts all look like they're pretty comfortable in here. And when I say comfortable, I mean the tips aren't like mooshing into one another. Mooshing is a very technical engineering term I'm sure you've heard before, but uh, nothing is squished, which means that these darts should work relatively well and they should fire easily. So the fit of this magazine is actually a little bit tight. It's tighter than like, say, you can see that here. Like that is me applying force and pulling slowly. So it is a tight fit as opposed to, say, the Busby ones, which just go right in. And, well, the Busby ones have like these ratchety bits on them. That's a poor comparison, but you get what I'm getting at. If I could find something that has a, man, all of these aftermarket magazines are a little bit tight. I'll get a Nerf magazine to make sure, but I feel like this is a little, a little wider, maybe by like a couple of microns of some variety. That said, it is very smooth going in, which is the most important, and I don't think that it's going to gravity drop, which is important for some play styles, but not necessarily all of them. So let's uh, fire it real quick, see if we can just go all the way through in beautiful, glorious Nosferatu full auto. <laughs> I mean, that was short, sweet, and to the point, but very, very clean. It looks like we actually fired so hard that we wedged some coup starts between the bricks. But this is, is working very nicely, I think. This is a plenty efficient magazine. 22 darts is a ton of capacity. It's an extra four shots over the... 18 which is the standard for most humans versus zombies players is that they very much enjoy using the 18 mags that, that Hasbro's provide and that's cool because it's an off-the-shelf easy to get your hands on kind of commodity that everybody can measure by but uh, these are increasingly easy to get it used to be you had to order them through some sort of weird Taobao agent but now it's like crazy easy like I said I will link down that dart is gone. But now these darts have been through at least one cycle. We'll fire them one more time, but I, I like these magazines. I could definitely see myself switching to them. I have four of them now, which is enough to fill my battle belt. So even though I'll be the least consistent humans versus zombies player with one of each color, I think that these are a very, very cool improvement. Let's fire down this way and see if we can get them to all travel. I was much less careful in loading them this time. That speaks for itself. So a uh, huge thumbs up for the Worker 22 round mags. If you're looking for aftermarket magazines, I think that they're even cheaper than the 18 round single refill pack. Now a lot of people get extra magazines by just buying extra blasters, but I think that this is an excellent, excellent option. They're machined well, they're very smooth, they seem to be all very consistent in their machining. And you have a variety of colors to choose from that exceeds those offered by Hasbro themselves, unless you count the one-offs like Star Wars magazines. But those don't come in high capacity, so this is pretty cool. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you uh, tuning in and listening to me talk about the intricacies of your choice in ammo vessel for the longest time. And try not to fight about clips versus mags. Clipazine for life, guys. Take it easy. Much love. Nerf on. Drack out.